This is why we are with Airport Control Simulator. We're going to continue the game and go to Moscow. So uh, it's basically exactly what the title says. You're an airport control simulator. Simulate the airport control stuff. Really, it's a very literal name. You can speed up how fast it goes. You control the plane how fast it goes. You have full control. So uh, what you have to do is you have to get the plane to a specific speed and altitude, like it says there, uh, before it can be landed. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this one around now. This one, I'll just tell it to go slow. And there's wind as well, which you have to deal with. Same with you, just go slow. And just try to get to be as straight as possible. There we go. Alright, you're next. Bring the altitude down. I don't think there's any disadvantage to just reducing the altitude to the minimum, which is weird. Just, I mean, at least not at this point of the game. Eventually there has to be a, some sort of negative, but not yet. Right, so we're going to go around. Slow it down now. And but right there's our rights. This is getting too close to the wall. Game doesn't like that. This one's looking alright. There we go, that's landed. Go and reduce the altitude. Speed it up to bring it around. Bring it around. And once it gets about to the uh, very edge of that runway, there we are. You can bring it in just a bit more to get it straight. There we go. Straight head on landing, nice and easy. Too fast, too fast, slow down. There we go. And that's how you do it. After that, you get promoted to a different country entirely. I get a star for no errors. And I get one fuck ton of points. Look at that. 1,558,817 points. It's a lot of fucking points. And in the next level, you do the same thing. There's also these ones. If you get so many perfects, you unlock them. So this one's going to probably be a lot harder than anything I've done yet. I don't know why I've chose this. Still, though, no disadvantage if the altitude's really low. So you just drop the altitude to the minimum always, I guess, for now. Uh, this is going to go bad. I mean, there's too many planes for me, probably. Honestly. Alright, well this one will go slow, and this one will go fast. It's 600, 700, just like all the other ones were. And this one's about to come out in a second, so I guess I'll slow this way down. And then I'll let this one go first. Reduce the altitude to nothing. Bring it out here, and then we gotta make it come around to get in. And slow it down. Make this thing go a little straighter. This one's going alright. Speed's good, altitude's good, everything's good on that. This one will be next. Speed it up to bring it around. I, I, lo I lose points just because those ones are that close to each other. Even though one of them was literally about to land, the other one's, you know, up in the air. Alright, we'll do reduce the speed a bunch and bring it around. It's probably going to overdo it a bit. This one I can bring over a little bit. This one I can go like this to it. This one, I'm not, I'm not gonna make this churn, am I? These two are getting too close. I hate that the too close loses you point. It's like, they're fucking fine, they're not gonna hit. Alright, come on. Let's see if it can make it. You there. You can land here. This one will have to make another pass, I guess. Oh, it made it. Cool. Alright, then you can follow this guy. Okay, so just 
Straighten it out a bit. And land it. See, the actual landing is not hard. The hard part is making sure they don't get within 1,000 miles of each other or some, whatever the ridiculously close amount is. Yeah, this one can slow it down. This one I'll bring it over here too. Bring it over. Alright, here we go. You can go ahead and start you turning around on this one. Reduce the altitude. It is way high. Maybe the altitude has that. Maybe it's like if the... Uh, if the altitudes are varied enough, maybe it doesn't matter. Who knows? How did you not fucking land? You were fucking perfectly let, set up, I thought. Whatever. See, these guys, even though one's landing and one's a thousand plus feet into the air, yeah, it still freaks out. That's just annoying. That one's literally landing, and this one's almost at its... It's like... It's half a mile... Like, just it's so high I don't know what they're measuring it in but no matter what when you're measuring planes in that big of a number it's gonna be fucking high all right we'll get this one to come around all right come on and straighten up now you can... you're gonna die because you don't have any fuel. Great. And that one didn't... that one's dead. Alright. Uh, that's the game. Airport Control Simulator. You got Hall of Fame. I'm the most popular aircraft control simulator guy in the world. And I said aircraft. It's oh, you can make it Imperial. Neat. Uh, until next time, it's been YBR. See ya.